Hey guys, my name is Dylan on behalf of the Hummingbird Monitoring Network and over the next two minutes of this video I'm going to share with you what we have in store for you. I've been doing a lot of research on uh, hummingbird folklore in Native American cultures. It's incredibly rich, pretty fascinating, and I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy some of the videos that we have planned for you. Hummingbirds are some of the most astounding animals in the entire animal kingdom. For example, the Rufus Hummingbird travels up to 4,000 miles from southern Alaska to the Mexican state of Guerrero. If you take into the account their diminutive size of only around 3 inches from the tip of their beak to their tail, this is the longest migration of any bird. For their size, hummingbirds also have the fastest flight, the biggest brain, largest heart, and of course the fastest wing beat of any other bird. They're the only birds that can fly backwards, and despite being the smallest in the world, they're among the most aggressive in defending their territory. Even the iridescence that gives these birds their jewel-like appearance is highly specialized and unique. With all of these natural characteristics, it's not surprising at all that these little birds are deeply intertwined with Native American culture. From the First Nation peoples of southern Alaska, who live with the Rufus hummingbird I was talking about before, all the way down to the indigenous people of Tierra del Fuego at the tip of South America, where the exotic fire crown hummingbird resides. The amazing abilities of the hummingbird inspired mythological explanations for their seemingly magical prowess. And even today, with all of our modern science and technology, we are just now gaining an understanding into the life of the hummingbird. Although it's likely that most cultures indigenous to the hummingbird's range in the Americas did have folklore surrounding the bird, there are some challenges in discovering these stories for us to appreciate today. Aside from some ancient Mesoamerican peoples, Native American cultures relied on orally preserving hummingbird legends throughout the ages. They used storytellers. Prior to the European arrival, there were perhaps thousands and thousands of languages in the Americas, many of which unfortunately have been lost to antiquity. You know what else we lost? The folklore. The silver lining in all of this is that there are still a wealth of mythological stories that have been preserved through that oral tradition. In fact, some of the most fascinating and intricate legends were preserved in the Mayan codices. These were folding books stemming from pre-Columbian Mayan civilization, written in hieroglyphic script. And the exciting thing is, is that there's even more to be discovered, as the Mayan script is the only Mesoamerican written language that has yet been substantially deciphered. So who knows what else is out there? So stay tuned everyone because we have some pretty neat videos planned for you in the future. They're going to be on that Native American folklore, how the hummingbird ties into it, and also the form and function of the birds themselves. I think you're really going to enjoy it. So like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and thanks for watching.